And don't judge me, but sometimes when I use heat products, my hair smells a little burnt. I know I get a lot of heat damage. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Janie. On this channel, I talk about Squishmallows, Squishables, Build-A-Bear, Loungefly, Sanrio. Occasionally, I throw in some hair care and skincare videos like today. Today, I'm talking about my favorite products for when I am styling my hair straight. I have naturally curly hair. It's more wavy lately because of some heat damage. So I want to go through the products that I absolutely love. This is not sponsored. With the exception of one, most of these products are very affordable. There's a variety of brands here. Ooh, so I've been trying this out for two months. This is the Not Your Mother's Aquatic Mint and Coastal. Coastal Sea Holly Scalp Refresh Shampoo to invigorate hair and scalp. I really like this because when I'm looking for a shampoo, I really needed to strip my hair, which sounds counterproductive, but when my hair is going to get styled straight, if there's any bit of too much moisture, especially in the root area, it affects the longevity of my blowout. So I have to get something that's going to give me a really clean base to work with. Like for today example, I'm only at day two or three and my roots are already kind of greasy. That's because of another product that I'm going to talk about. But this kind of helps reset everything really nicely and it smells really good. Like that aquatic mint is no joke. It smells like the beach with a hint of like mint, but it smells like like that sea salt spray and I really really like it. It doesn't hurt my scalp. There's no like weird tingling or anything because I know it says it in very great. It's not actually irritating my scalp. It's affordable. This is a 15.2 fluid ounce bottle that I picked up at Target for I want to say under 10 bucks. It's my first time in a very long time trying out Not Your Mother shampoos. Typically I only try their styling products but I really like this one. Speaking of shampoo, this is a dry shampoo. This is the Freshen Up Invisible Dry Shampoo by Eva NYC. This has rice dark and argan oil it's 5.3 fluid ounces and i have very little left but i do like this one first of all because we recently a couple months ago had a recall of a lot of dry shampoo brands and i was really nervous that i have been using something that was not safe for my scalp and hair but luckily this is not a part of that this smells really good it's part of eva nyc it's really hard to talk about their products without talking about how good it smells uh, but it does the job for me like i'm not super particular with my dry shampoos i find that i find that they help me to a certain extent i used it today the only thing is i wish they would do kind of like a brunette version because this does sometimes if i'm not careful leave like a white residue that i don't notice it's it's not a heavy one but it's just a, in color it, it's just a little bit noticeable because obviously i have dark roots but I do really like this dry shampoo it gets the job done but typically by the time I use this I'm gonna wash my hair the next day or two I, I don't have the best success with dry shampoos in elongating the amount of time between my wash days as for heat protectant I have two different ones that I use if it's gonna be a humid day or if I know I'm gonna be running around a lot I overheat often and my hair will start curling at the roots so I like to have something that helps kind of counteract the, the weather's effect on my hair and that's when I use the it's a 10 blow dry miracle h2o shield it's 100% proof it's six fluid ounces I wouldn't say it's 100% foolproof but it does help me with like you know preventing some level of frizz I try not to use too much because this can weigh down my hair for some reason all heat protectants or leave-in conditioners if I'm wearing my hair straight can kind of weigh my hair down a little bit so I have to be very careful to aim mostly mid shaft to the tips because otherwise again it shortens the amount of time between my hair wash days but this is good it is heat activated so if you don't apply heat it's obviously going to be sticky so I, I usually use this when I'm blow drying my hair before straightening it I try to skip that stuff to minimize the amount of heat that I'm using on my hair but sometimes I'm in a rush and things have to get done or I have to go to bed so I have to use a blow dryer and that's when I'll use this one if I'm just straightening my hair without blow drying it like I've let it air dry completely then I'll use the Eva NYC main magic 10 in 1 primer this has argan oil sun flower seed oil it's 5.4 fluid ounces and this is vegan and cruelty free by the way so this one I like for those occasions when I don't have to bludge on my hair again less is more with this product otherwise it weighs my hair down a little bit but it just leaves it so smooth and sometimes I'm not gonna lie I'll use this when I have curly hair and I'm trying to get rid of some flyaways I'll just spray it on me even though that's not its intended purpose it works really well for that too so I have half left this is really good they do have a new formula I think that's a little bit more lightweight for people who have the same issue that I have of getting it weighed down. So I'm gonna have to buy it and see how I feel about it. We're gonna put it to the test, but I really like this one. Time for a deep conditioner. I'm not gonna show you this bottle too closely because it's a little gross, but this is the Eva NYC Therapy Hair Mask. Amazing, and I like how much product you get. This is 16.9 fluid ounces. 
smells amazing just like every other Eva NYC hair product and it moisturizes my hair without weighing it down. This is something that I use when I'm wearing my hair curly or straight. It does not negatively impact any of my results and I think it's affordable. It's just a super lightweight but moisturizing formula and I will leave it on my hair for as long as possible while I'm in the shower and doing other things. So I shampoo my hair as soon as I get in and then I'm going straight to this mask once I've rinsed out the shampoo. That way it stays on for a maximum amount of time without me wasting water or anything because I don't have a detachable shower head at least not yet last product also Eva NYC I swear I'm not sponsored even though some of these products were given to me for free I think I got this like two years ago so Eva NYC's hair fragrance first of all smells exactly like the hair products so if you love the hair products this is amazing the reason I use this though this is a new bottle I've reviewed this before but the bottle was leaky and it kind of affected my thoughts on the product I got a new bottle and this one doesn't have that same issue this is good for and don't judge me, but sometimes when I use heat products, my hair smells a little burnt. I know I get a lot of heat damage. That's why I try to very rarely straighten my hair. Like, this is the second time I straightened it in 2023 compared to last year um, because I'm trying to keep it curly anyway. But sometimes I have to straighten it for special events. But if I'm not careful, it'll smell a little burnt. Like, a little bit like heat. I guess I shouldn't say burnt. And, and you know what happens. I don't know. No level of heat protectant for me has ever protected my hair 100 percent you know what i mean so when it, when it smells when it smells like that like a heating tool i apply this and this just takes it away it's a it's a fragrance for your hair um it's a fragrance for your hair and it doesn't weigh it down doesn't make it greasy it doesn't dry it out it's fine and it smells so good even when i see it has a floral scent but i don't know if i've ever been able to find the actual fragrance notes if i do i'll put them right here um because it's been a while since i've done a hair product review or a hair product video but this stuff just smells so good. It just smells so good. And it's nice that it's something that can go on your hair and it's not going to dry it out or anything like that. Because sometimes I will put my own perfume up onto my hair. But, you know, you run the risk of that alcohol or like the other ingredients kind of not meshing well with whatever you're using on your hair. In this case, I don't have that issue. It smells really good. Nice way to touch up that smell after I've already showered and styled my hair and walked out the door. So... I do really like this. All right, so that is it for this video. Stay tuned because I'm going to be doing a curly hair version very soon. And I'm also going to have more demos because I feel like curly hair just requires more visual aid with what I'm doing and how these products perform on my curls. Um, and some of them are similar brands to this and then others are just more affordable ones, like even cheaper than the products that I mentioned today, which is pretty good. So that being said, stay tuned for more. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye.